Yeah, no, I can hear you. I'm just brushing my hair here. Um, My name is Sinead Hussey, I'm the North East Correspondent with RTE and a graduate of St Patrick's College in Maynooth. I did the course in Christian Communications and Development in 2003 and I suppose what it gave to me was a sense of purpose, a sense of belonging and it gave me direction. At that point I was 20, I just completed an arts degree and I didn't really know where I was going or what I was going to do but that course changed all that. As a North East correspondent for RTE, I cover the counties of Louth, Meath, Cavan and Monaghan and it's my job to tell the stories of the people uh, within this region. Anything from ATM robberies which have been happening right across the region since the beginning of the year. You also have then the more tragic stories of road accidents, you have the ongoing feud in Drogheda County Louth. All of these stories um, have to be reported on. I suppose in a world of fake news and noise, it's my job as the North East correspondent to try and get to the heart of stories. I have to get the facts and the real story out there for people. And I think the course in St. Patrick's College of Maynooth has helped me to do that. I think what I remember most about St. Patrick's College is the beautiful buildings, the beautiful gardens, um, the history that came with it, um, the classrooms. Uh, and also I think what I remember most about it is that it was small, that you recognised people, you could say hello to people uh, and there was that, I suppose, feeling of being part of something, uh, something like a community. I think the ethos of St. Patrick's College didn't manifest itself in any overtly Catholic way, but it was that way of teaching, the way of learning, fostering new skills, um, the atmosphere and communicating, that for me was the most important thing that I could learn. I've always wanted to work in RTE and when I did the course in St. Patrick's College it was always a dream of mine. So when I appear on your screens in the evening time or you hear me on the radio, I feel I suppose very privileged that I can be bringing to people at home the news of what's happening that day and sometimes that news can be very tragic uh, so it comes I suppose with a huge sense of responsibility that we deliver the news in a very transparent and balanced way but it's also really important to me uh, that people hear real voices, that they hear the real stories uh, from across my region whether that's in Louth, Meath or Cavan or Monaghan but they hear real stories from real people. When I find a story that I believe is of news value, I make a few phone calls on it, I'll try and do some research online, I'll, I'll talk to people about it, and then I have to go about the process of pitching that story to my editors. They all sit around and they decide whether or not there's merit in, in telling that story. So really it's a process that can take a number of days but that all changes with breaking news because in the event of a breaking news story there's not a lot of thinking, it's get straight to the scene, get straight to the story and after that then you try to figure out what exactly is going on, you try and find out uh, the facts. So I suppose it's two very different ways of operating. One is the feature-like stories that we like to give time to, to prepare and then there's the breaking news which happens and you have to react. News on the Cavan Fermanagh border. Working in RTE, the national broadcaster, has given me a real sense and understanding of the importance of heritage, of history and of culture and tradition. And it's like St. Patrick's College in Maynooth, which has been a place for 220 years that has fostered learning, a place of faith formation. And I think Ireland is a richer place because of its presence.